Hello guys. Even though Selenium is good in automating a web-based application, there are few cases where window-based pop-ups, window-based authentication will come up in the web-based application. To handle those scenarios, Selenium needs to be integrated with external tools. Today we are going to see such kind of a tool named Autopit. It's very good in Automating any window based pop-ups, we are going to see how to configure and run it with Selenium. So click on download auto it. Okay. And one more thing what we want is the editor. So download the editor as well. That will be helpful in writing the auto scripts. So click on that particular one. So both files are getting downloaded. Now let's open and start installing auto in our local machine. Just follow the commands, right click and run as administrator. Must and agree all the statements. So I also always prefer 32 bit because this tool works better with 32 bit. If you want to go with 64 bit, you can go with default 64 bit. If you see the statement itself, it says it works with well with the later 32 bit. So always select a. Uh, I went with run the script, but it will be useful if you select edit the script. So these are all self explanatory. So that's it. Auto it has been installed. So let's install the other file. So before that, you can read this documentation. It will be very helpful when you are writing a auto it script. So really new to this, so better go to the commands and loops and macros were and all applicable how much you can use this tool depends on how much you learn all these commands so just go through this so in our case mostly we will use the control commands like control send or set focus all these things control click all these things so you can go through the particular things which you are going to use ok let's install the script editor So personally, I always keep the things in temp folder and run from C drive. So that's it. Installation is done. So hope the installation is good. So once the installation is done, you can go to your C drive and the auto it is installed. Okay, so there are two parts. One is like how do you inspect an element using authority? The second one is how do you write a script in order? Okay. So the first one is inspecting. Before that, we are going to solve two problem areas in Selenium as part of this tutorial using authority. Okay. So auto it is uh, it's a good tool which can handle most of the window based apps and forms. Okay. So the first problem area is in this page. I click on this button. I'll get a pop up to upload. Okay. So Selenium can't do this. So for this we are going to use Atoy. And the second part which we are going to discuss is this authentication pop up. This way will come across in most of the scenarios. It is a Windows authentication pop up. So Windows authentication pop up can't be handled in selenium so for that we are going to use auto -it. okay so let's get started how to use auto -it. first we'll focus on how to upload a file so if you click on this you'll get this pop -up, okay 
show the thing. So go to this menu. So minus sixty four, you can use both of them. So this pop up is open. Click on this find it tool, and first what we have to find is where we need to insert the text. Where we need to give the control focus, control focus. Okay. So first what we need is this guy. So what what is the title of this one? That will be useful. Either you can use title, class, or H filter. Okay. In this case, we are going to use title. So the title form is this. file upload. Okay. And the second, which was important, is basic control info. That class one and stands one. These two we are going to use in our script. Okay. One more thing to keep in mind. See now, if I logged in to Firefox, what you got the title? File upload. Let me go to Chrome. You see here, the title is open. So in this case, it's better to go with other information like class, class and H field. Okay, that will be a best solution because if you use file upload in when you try to launch this page in this one, your auto edit script is not going to work. So the next step is editor. So let me close this. So once you are ready, double click this editor. So this will give you open the editor. So the first thing what we have to do is first you need to get the focus to the particular place. Second is you need to pass the file path, and the third is click on the click on. Open button. Okay, in this case, it's a open button. Let me show you this information to be helpful. So you see here, file upload title is file upload. So if you use the Finder tool, you can get file upload, and the class name is edit and change is not. So this is our first command. I will take you here. So control focus. Title name. The second one is a text which you are not going to use as part of this one, and the third one is a concatenation of class plus instance or classes edit. I show you right just now. So our classes edit and the instance is one. Okay. Classes edit, instance is one. So the first step is done. And the second step is the title, text, and class plus instance, and the final one is path of the file. Example: If I self-explanatory, like if you write this, this order itself will give you provision means what like title, text, control ID, and text. This is more informative. So when you start writing, you will give it will you will automatically get the information what you have to do. The third step is control click. So that's it. Create it and file save it. Save as what you have to do is AU3 file. You should save it as .AU3 file. Okay. In my case, I have already done file dot upload. So immediately you should not run this file. What you have to do is right click, had compile it before trying to feed this into a Selenium program. I used to always I always prefer thirty two bit. Once you compile, what will happen is it will get compiled. Okay, if you see ten ten twenty twenty three, it got compiled. So the next step what you have to do, you need to configure this this exe file into a Selenium program. If you get time, you can uh, go through many commands in uh, Auto Edit because it you can open an Excel file, you can do manipulation, you can open a Notepad, you can create a calculator, self calculator as well using Auto Edit. So as a part of current focus, we are focusing only on how to 
use it with selenium where and all selenium not able to handle the windows part okay so let's come to our program and see how it works so the drive so this are already explained things you should launch the driver wait for some time and click the button so to now then so now once the pop up is open you have to use you have to call the exe file in order to execute the exe file you have to use runtime dot get time of execution in that you have to path pass the the file which we have compiled i showed you right so the compiled file path so once you have done this this script will execute and upload it so one more thing you have to keep in mind is if you are trying to automate in chrome what you have to do you need to create a separate file because the title will be different or else go with class name it's a best solution okay so let's run through this and see how it works so i will launch firefox launch the page and you will see how it gets executed okay right click before that we have to wait cuz i don't want to confuse you people with multiple execution so this so what is our expectation it should upload the file from the path which i have mentioned the page has been opened we will see the file has uploaded okay and the test case is passed so this is how you can upload a file using auto it tool okay now let's go back to the second topic which is how to log in to a page how to handle the authentication at web page okay in our case if you see this is the title of the windows authentication okay i am telling wait for 10 seconds Okay, wait for ten seconds. If the window is coming or not, wait for ten seconds. So that is a wait statement. And the second step is, if the window exists, you continue with this process. Our password and user ID is admin admin. So what is going to do is, yes, yes, cancel it. So it will pass admin admin and click on enter. that's all because we don't have any parameters in this particular web page in case if particular appropriate parameters are there you can pass that parameter in most of the authentication it will be username or password so using that title you can pass the values but in my case nothing is there so i'm just using the keys to handle this okay so once you created this what you are next step what you have to you have to compile the script so this is my script i will go to some more option and compile the script so you can see it's compiled on current time yes so let's go back to our program now what we have to do process compile so let's launch the browser and see what going to happen so this is our browser before the time because the particular auto it creation which i had done the title is i kept it from here in chrome so i'm going to run it through chrome okay. so the first of what it will do it will launch this one and i am going to compare the actual result this expect result with this one okay so runtime dot get runtime dot execution it will give user id and password and i will capture the message is going to display and it will compare with the actual result okay so if actual and expected are equal then our test case will pass so what we are going to do in this test case it will open the page window pop up will come it will call the auto it script enter user name and password and then save it so once it save the page will open it will grab message and compare it using ashes okay let's run this program so 
hope you people are understanding this. If anything, you can put it in comment. So, the pop up has opened and it entered the user and password. And you got the successful message. And if you see, our test case has passed. Actual and expected is equal, and our test case is passed. So now there is one more thing which I am trying to explain is in case how do we handle this authentication without using a auto ET tool. So there is a way to handle that as well. What you have to do is when you are launching the browser, you have to follow this syntax: username colon password at the rate the domain name. So this one will execute this one will handle this windows authentication means like if you pass like this the window authentication itself won't come let's see this how it works you see the authentication page itself then came just we are capturing one field. Test case pass means like without using auto it how to handle the authentication pop-ups. So for this what is syntax? Username, code and password, at the rate, the domain name. There is one more way which we will discuss in the future topics like uh, using a Chrome options. You can handle this scenario. So that is all about auto it how to integrate auto with selenium and not just these things any kind of window proper use of fine tool find the appropriate element create auto with script compile it and configure it in the selenium using runtime command which we have already seen so that's all about today i hope you like this video if you like please like and if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe Thank you. In the upcoming tutorial, we'll see like what are the other external tools you can integrate with Selenium. Till then, bye bye. Thank you for watching.